So, we finally arrived here in our destination. We are gonna explore Malahide Castle and Gardens today. So, let's get it on! Actually, today we have a guest friend. Hello, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it has been a while since we last uh, uploaded a vlog. So, today is a lovely day, but it's kind of windy. We are gonna try this baby. I am using the Sony Alpha 5100 and I also have the, the DSLR camera just in case but most of the time I'll be using this baby so let's go and go to the castle. We are here inside their visitor center and today is a busy day because it's a weekend so all the families are coming here to visit kids, um, every, everyone of different ages, like young and old alike, they're here for um, souvenir shopping, walking in the garden and maybe just for a cup of tea or coffee in their cafe so we are going to purchase the tickets to go inside the garden and the cafe they actually have an extensive garden here uh, actually it was Lord Milo Talbot who was looking after the gardens before and according to what I've read, they have like um, brought some plant species from Australia and Chile. So inside the visitor center, there is like a showroom of what these plants are. So. So I first stop outdoors here in Malahide Castle is the butterfly house. We are going to find how many species of butterflies inside. Come on. So 
so we spotted already in one spacing here. <laughs> here in the butterfly house and we've seen a lot of species already and of course we saw as well a young butterfly that's still a worm so it's a larva Ta -da! one two three and four there are actually loads of them well the different stages of the life of a butterfly um, we've seen some larvae and those inside their cocoons so there are also a lot of plant species here we found um, most of them are from tropical countries I believe they're from Chile and export in, imported by Lord Milo Tago, who is a very keen gardener who like collected all these plant species for the Tago garden. Since my husband likes chicken, most pro most special, specifically the rooster because he likes to go to the cockpit, we are gonna explore the chicken yard. Blueberries. So guys, we didn't find any chicken at all. We've seen some different plant species, but I guess during those times, like maybe a hundred years ago, this serves as a chicken yard where they are taking care of the chickens for the family consumption. Malahide Castle and Gardens began in 1185 when Lord Michael Talbot was granted like permission for all the harbor and land in Malahide. here are from Fingal County Castle sorry that's Fingal County Cow Heh? County Council they are the ones looking after the gardens for about 30 years now since this estate has been sold to the Irish estate me Rani and from my husband Christian uh, it's been a while since we have posted uh, travel but now we are exploring just around Dublin City we are here in the beautiful and large estate Malahide Castle and Gardens 
this is actually a 260 acre estate parklands and we have explored the gardens and the castle later so we are here in another uh, glass house because it's warm in here <laughs> so we found this lovely flower but some of them are already withering and I don't know their name but it looks like uh, a flower <laughs> comment below if you know this flower and to educate us because we're not really very very um, what you call this knowledgeable when it comes to names of flowers I just saw them beautiful and that's it it's a beautiful flower Finish our tour of the garden and now it's 